Yeah, I'm here. Do I need to show my face on the camera? What the? You know, I don't, we do not need your camera. But anyway, go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay. Yeah, why is it that you're the one who has to expose all the all these errors in the Quran? Well, why do you think it's not so obvious for other people? Well, I mean, isn't it obvious that smoke is bad? Still, people smoke. Isn't it obvious that drugs is bad? Still, people take drugs. Not everybody uses a brain. You know. Sure. I mean, you do not need to be. Not, you do not need to be genius to know if you take drugs, you are destroying your health and your body, right? Mm -hmm. But how many, how many millions they do it every day? They do it. Too many. It doesn't make and any drugs. sense. Yeah, and drugs is the same, and it's the same as Islam. No, they're not different. You know, it's uh, somebody drug you. But, you know, <laughs> you go fight for me, and I will give you versions. It's drugs. You know, it's just uh, uh, you know, you, you make you uh, imagine dream about uh, uh, a reward you have it's a sexual reward money reward gold reward and uh, course, you know there's the world is full of fools course, but with smoking pe people see the problems but with islam they don't even see this problem so it's right in front of them well even the one who see it there's you know there's two kind of people there's people who see it and they decide to not to let us say uh, to think about it seriously or they have to ignore it because of a situation they live in like I say if you live in a Muslim country in a Muslim society and you know if you say this is true you will be killed so what do you do eh, just you know let it go what you can do you live here and the majority are yeah. Muslims and they are aggressive and there is other ones who they are not this is not really a reason uh, but they, they knew they would lose some kind of a privilege like, uh, uh, if I'm a person, I live in America, and uh, uh, still I have to, all my friends are Middle Eastern, let's say. I'm not talking about myself, but usually this is the case. A Middle Eastern, you know, they have yeah. friends, uh, uh, Middle Eastern society, community. So if he leave the faith, he will lose them all, you know. So some people, they are not willing to lose in order to gain. But the smart one, is the one who really don't think about the gain uh, or the lose. He think about what is right. Mm -hmm. You know, I would do what is right. And what is right is, this is about salvation. I will lose a friends or I will gain friends. It's not important. I will, I will win my salvation. So some people are just kind of cowards and they continue in this lifestyle. They are seeking, basically. Privilege. They are seeking benefit in this life, you know. So... The, what the Bible says, what is the benefit if you win all the world and you lose yourself? You know, you win, go win. So you, you, yeah. many people, they won't win. They want to win friends. Uh, how many how many Christians, even Christians, they hear a friend, he is an atheist, making fun of the Bible, but they don't open their mouth. Why? Because they say to themselves, oh, if I now try to refute him, he will stop being my friend. I will lose him. You know, I will not go out with them. They will not accept me. Uh, a girl, she is uh, she is trying to be Christian as much as she can, and she is going with a bunch of women who like you know they want to drink, they want to smoke, they want to sleep around, they want to do whatever. And now, in order to be with them, she have to change and act like them. Otherwise, she is not welcome. And this is what happened to most of people, you know, even those who they are not convinced in what they do, they do just to uh, join a company, not because they are convinced with it. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right, anything else, Dan? Uh, no, not really, that's it. All right, All right. thank you for Bye. calling, my friend. God bless you, take care. You're, you're welcome, you're goodbye. Yeah, I'm glad to see like some young, uh, 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 young ones calling, that's a good sign. You know, they are not busy with the games. There is, there is, there is a young ones who they are smart, thinking, and they are sharp. That's a very good thing. These days, everybody, you know, n nobody really care for something serious. 
Uh, Moon, are you there? I tried to put you in, but it says your microphone is muted. Are you there, uh, Moon? Hello? Are you there, Moon? I guess Moon, he have a difficulty and he is not able to function uh, from his side. Are you there? Okay, well, I will mute you. You know, don't worry about the camera because nobody can see it, you know. Only me from my side, I can see the camera. Uh, and uh, Dan, please exit because you are just taking a space. If you can exit, let me remove you. All right, that will be better. Okay, Hello? Mona, are you there? No, I hear you, Mona. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for it. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on, online, so please, uh, the top pick. Actually, I want to share Christian from the list. Quick. Uh, what happened like two weeks ago? He is, is Muslim. So uh, he, he shared something on Facebook. Uh, I don't go in this argument of I, I did respond to his uh his head. so uh, this is our belief like uh, uh that even jesus of god my very first time with the muslim yeah moon moon i i have to apologize from you your voice is cutting badly and i cannot understand the word so my friend fix your internet connection and maybe you can try again. I cannot understand. I cannot make a word of what you say. I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if we look at what Jesus teach, and we look at what Muhammad, he say, I mean, this guy is a, is a mad idiot. The word idiot is not even enough to describe his stupidity. You know? Kill the black dogs. The black dogs is a devil. The yellow dog is fine. I mean, this. But but what what you know? Not only he is stupid superstition, he is racist. He is evil. He always try to attach any creature. He is a black to be the devil. Uh, please refrain from using bad language in the chat and uh, Ely, be nice or we will block you do we have any question? Would you please explain the origin of the word Quran? Well, Quran is not an Arabic word, actually. It's coming from the Aramaic language, which is Qarra wa Ra'a. Qarra means he say. Ra'a means he saw. So you say what you saw. That means reading. That means reading. The Muslims, they say the Quran mean recitation but recitation cannot be Quran because you don't you know you're reciting you don't see especially Muhammad when he have it Muhammad did not receive a book Muhammad he did not receive a paper even the Muslim they claim that he did not even know how to write how to read so it cannot be Quran the word Qira anyone who knows Qira uh, uh, mean reading, you know, you see the words, you read it, not recitation. Uh, uh, Eli, I have to block you because you are just disturbing people here and you don't even speak English.
All right. I don't know what happened to the chat. Let me see the chat here. Yeah. Uh, when the angel, he came to Muhammad, he squeezed him and he said to him, Iqra. Iqra, which means read, it doesn't make sense. And of the word Iqra, he meant to say, repeat, even that doesn't make sense. Because why Muhammad, he says, the Muslim they understand as I do not know how to read so obviously Muhammad he understood the word right in this scenario I do not know how to read but shouldn't he ask me from first what to read what and what uh, well you did not give me a paper so in Arabic actually those who speak Arabic they knew that can mean two things can mean what I shall read or I cannot read. However, both of it is a stupid. Why? Because Jibreel he did not give him anything to read. And if it mean well, I cannot read, and then the angel keeps saying read, because you just he just told you I cannot read, and you did not give him anything to read. Uh, the Muslim agree that he there's no book, there's no paper, so read what? No. And if it meant repeat, that is more stupid. Why? Because how Muhammad can say, I cannot repeat. He just say, he says, repeat the word. If the word qari or iqra mean repeat, well, Muhammad, he just said it. So how you say, I cannot say it? It doesn't matter where you take it, it's messed up. What the difference between hafs and warsh? Well, the, uh, you know, remember Muhammad, he said there is many, uh, there is many Ahraf and there is many Qur'at. The Muslim, they say Ahraf is different from Qur'at. But as an example, I will give you an example. Uh, if you remember the book of Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, let me try to find it. Most time they say that you know there's really not not much different. I mean it's just like a a dialect, you know, like a different uh, uh, you know way to say things. But this is absolutely false. I'm just trying to find the website. All right. If you remember the, the verses where it speak about the shems or the sun, which is run to uh, a, a, like a destination. And the sun runs his course, his course, the sun runs his course hmm. of for a period determined for him that is a decree from Allah so the sun runs to a fixed course a, f a fixed destination you change the translator here I mean, it's a very <coughs> horrible when you try to deal with those translation And the sun runs on its fixed course for a term. Okay, if we go to Ibn Kathir, we will see that there is other reading saying the sun does not run to a fixed course. Remember, this is the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. So if we go to 36... And we go down 36 38 here it says the sun run to its fixed course 
This is one reading. You see it? And the sun runs into a fixed course. Okay, wonderful. Then if we go down here a little bit, it says, again, the sun run into fixed course. And then we go down. Look what has happened here. And the sun runs with no fixed course. What is this? This is different reading. If you read, is that the same Quran? Ibn Mas'ud. The Quran of Ibn Mas'ud is saying that the sun does not run to a fixed course. And Ibn, Ibn Abbas, he said the same. And that changed everything. And this is just an example of how the Quran is messed up. If the reading is just a dialect, then the dialect should not change the meaning. And as you see, this is the same dialect. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew that this is the same. This is the dialect of uh, Quraysh. Nothing changed. What dialect? And the funny is, all of them, they live in the same town. What dialect? They are family. They are a tribe, Quraysh. So how the Quran will come in seven dialect if it's just a small town? A thousand house, maybe, maybe less. So the sun runs or the sun versus the sun does not run. The sun run to a fixed course or the sun does not run to a fixed course. This is not just different recitation. This is different, totally different meaning. The opposite. The sun does not settle or the sun settle, as you see. This is additional, this is what uh, Yasser Qadi, he spoke of. There's holes in the narrative. There's holes in the narrative, big holes. Exactly, Phil. Yeah, Phil, he speaks English better than me, I can't tell. He's doing better translation. And this is going to be the same. It's, it's a, it is a huge difference. I mean, it's obvious. It's like saying you have a car, and I say in the different, you don't have a car. So which one? The train is going to a station. The train will keep running forever. There's no station. Because they are ignorant. You know, here, the question if Islam does not like black people, so why many black people they practice uh, Islam? Because they are ignorant. They do not know. They don't know. You know what they tell them? The opposite. They told them Islam free, you know, against slavery. It's like, look what the white man did. Look, you know. But the truth is, Islam is a very racist. It's a white supremacist cult against black, against Asian. Gog and Magog, they are Asian. Satan, according to Muhammad, is black. Muhammad, he made fun of who? He made fun of the Ethiopian. He called the Ethiopian a suwaiqa. You know, the, the, the Ethiopian, they are skinny people, you know. They are skinny, they are tall. So he said, those who have, you know, making fun of their legs, he make fun of the look of the black people. He says, uh, Zabiba, uh, uh, raising head, you know, imagine. He made his slave on the command of a group of white Arab men. And you might ask yourself, how he's a slave and became a command? Because he is good in fighting. Is physically strong. That's why they bought them. You know, those slaves, 
you know, the one if, if he isn't healthy, nobody will buy him. The price will be very cheap. So he is healthy, he's good in fight, and he is expert. So you lead this group. The Arab they complain. How this black man and his slave he will lead us. Muhammad he said clear words, even if he's if, even if he's a raising head. Let us see if we can find the reference. All right. And this is telling you how Muslim they look at the black people. And I'm talking about the Muslim, the real Muslim, that's not those, you know, the, the Arab. Do you see it? This is this is their translation, not mine. He's a slave, and he made them a chief in the wartime for their expert in fighting, and yet he is making fun of their look. That is, uh, you know, this is Islam, you know. Do you see it? Do you see it? It says slave. Allah Apostle said, you should listen and obey your command or ruler, even if he was Ethiopian black slave whose head looked like raisin. But when when the Muslim they speak to black people, they don't show those things. All right. We have Samuel. Yes, Samuel, go ahead. Hello? Are you with us, Samuel? Okay, looks like he is not ready. Okay, the Simon. Maybe he is now. He fixed his microphone. Hello, Moon. Are you there? Do you hear me, Moon? You are with us already. Hello. Yes, Moon. Go ahead. We hear you. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, I hear you. What you what you, what you will I try to say before, and we could not hear you. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, so uh, I'm Christian. I want to share some. Uh, I'll be quick. It's a long story. So about two years ago, uh, I'm from. I was working. Yeah. Well, your your internet is bad, my friend. For some reason, your internet is bad and it's not working. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. It's not working. Hello? 
Let us give him one more chance and see. Yes, Mon, try now. And your ca your camera is on, by the way. Do you know that? Your camera is on. If you don't like to be in the screen in the stream, turn off your camera or put your finger on it. All right. Are you there? Well, obviously, he have a bad internet. You know, if you look at this guy, his name is Muslim. He's talking about God. He gave him a lot of messengers and he forgave them time after time. I mean, look who is talking about God giving them a lot of messengers and he forgave them time after time. So why your God did not give you a lot of messengers too? Same time, if the God of the Jew is the same as the God of the Christian, why the God of the Jew, he says, that prophets are coming from the children of Abraham through Isaac and Jacob? Was your prophet from Isaac and Jacob? And if you Muslims, you claim that you have the same God of the Jews, why your God did not send you ever any messenger? Never. You see the Quran keeps saying, uh, Diving in the dark. Before Muhammad, nobody came to the people of Mecca as a warner or as a messenger. Never. And this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. See, in chapter 25, verse number 56 says, we send you only as a person who tell them and warner. Okay. So he is a warner. But then the Quran full of verses is speaking about that Abraham is the one who built the house or he, he, he rebuilt the house with Ishmael. But chapter 32 verse number 3 it says we never send ever a messenger before thee to them or say he Muhammad to into bracket has fabricated nay it is the truth from your Lord that you may warn to whom no warner has come before you. Never. Abraham was not there. Ishmael never was there. And the Muslim, they're trying to hijack the God of the Jew. Yet their God is not a spirit. The God of the Jew is a spirit. And we know the rest, everything in Islam is different. Their God is a Shin. Our God is a spirit. Their God is a evil. He promotes evil. He has zero ethic. He gives false prophecies. You know, saying, saying the word God does not make you God. You worship God. And now if the, if the Jehovah's Witnesses, they claim that they worship the same God of the Christian to we love. No, you don't. This is how Mohammedan, they try to make themselves a religion, but in fact they are not. Um... Uh, if you are using the computer, it's easier to cover your camera. If you are using your phone, uh, maybe you should flip the phone while you are talking to me without looking at the screen.
Quraysh dialect, same as the Uthmani Quran. There's no Uthmani Quran. Where is the Uthmani Quran? <laughs> you know, when you say Uthmani Quran, it's Uthman Quran, right? Where is that? There's nothing. There's none. They don't have even a single page of it. Don't you see when the Muslim, they open the Quran, they print the Quran, right? If you have a Quran in Arabic, you will see the first pages. There's a page, it's called page A. It says this Quran is according to the recitation of Hafs, Ibn Asim, Ibn Ibn, etc. According to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman. But Uthman never recited the Quran. We have Barnas. Go ahead, Mr. Barnas. Hello? Do you hear me? All right, I know people, they are join us, but they cannot join us. Uh, let us see here, we have J. Go ahead, Jay. Are you there, Jay? Okay, guys, if you don't want to talk, please don't call me. There's no point of coming here and you don't want to talk. All right? There's no point. Well, you do not need to come and send a private message in order to ask question. Please ask the question in the chat, and we will answer you. So, uh, Bernas, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. If I'm not, I hope you will not be upset from me. Uh, he's asking about the book of Genesis, and he's asking to explain a certain verse. You know, uh, uh, before you before you try to understand the book of Genesis, uh, don't apply your science to what is written in the book of Genesis. Why? Because if God wants to speak about science, then he will speak science. The book of Genesis is to make some things simple for the understanding. And remember, this book is written for people who lived thousands of years ago. This is not a book written yesterday. 2022 or 23, 24 in the future. This is a very old book speaking in a very simple way about how he, how God, he created uh, uh, the earth and the heaven. However, that when God, he created, it says here that God, he created the skies. Uh, obviously, like now in science, they say there's galaxies, but we don't know what behind galaxies. Maybe there's something bigger. So what the Bible is saying, that God, he made, obviously, a uh, different level of creation and different, uh, and no, let us see what, what words I would use in English. Um, like let us say, You know, when, when you, let's say you are making a cake, and then the cake, the first the first level, you, you put uh, uh, chocolate, the second uh, is a strawberry, the second whatever. So there is, there is like, a, 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 there's different design, and there are, there's different, let's say, bodies of this uh, uh, sky. And this is something we cannot talk of, even science now agree with it. But we do not know exactly how far it goes, how big it is, where it is, where it's going to stop, where it's going. We don't know. But we know that we are in a small earth, tiny, in this huge space. Now, the verse says in, in, uh, in verse number seven uh, that uh, God, he separated the sky from the water. Why? Because when God, he created the earth, uh, the earth was like in a in a one form, and the earth was covered by water, according to the book of Genesis. And actually, I saw many articles written by scientists. They agree that in a certain time, the whole earth was covered by water. 
And until now, the Earth actually is 70% or more covered by water. Until now. So only 30% is what is seen from the Earth, and the rest is covered by water. So uh, God, he separated the Earth from the water, which means, I mean, the sky from the water, which means he made a distance between them. He, uh, let us say he built the atmosphere for us. He built the shape of the earth and the container of the earth. Uh, verse number eight. Uh, and God, he called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. So God gave them a name. So you know, you can use them. This is the name of it. And I don't see anything really to explain in verse number eight. He just called the skies heaven. You can use the sky, depending on your language. Uh, it's a heaven, uh, simply, uh, because somewhere in heaven or above the heaven is where God, our Lord, He, he is. Uh, but the heaven is not, let us say, a limited space uh, to talk about. Uh, I mean, this is even science cannot even talk about what what. What is the what is the universe? They don't know. They, they are sending now a telescope, and it's sending amazing pictures, and they are astonished with it. But yet they saw nothing. I mean, they are we are you know it's like it's like sending a mosquito to fly in a massive, massive. Nobody knows how big. So the Bible is making it simple, speaking to people at that time and in this time, because still we know nothing really after all. And uh, God, he made this, but it's not really in detail. Imagine if this verse, when I talk about how God made the heaven, how many stars there. Actually, the Old Testament says nobody can, uh, nobody know. Uh, I mean, the stars cannot be counted. Um, and uh, that's true, because there's a newborn star, there's dying stars. Uh, so it's impossible for man to count what in the moment there is. The second you start counting, by the second you finish counting, there's many of them, they died already, and there's many of them, they are born again. In the other stars, I mean. So, uh, uh, the Bible never was a book of science, and it's not to talk about science, but it given you an idea how this creation came to existence and who is behind it. As simple as that. So, when you go from verse number one to the rest, you will see that this, this is not about science. This is about the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So what the Bible is trying to give you a message, that everything we have, the beginning of our existence, not the beginning of God, the beginning of our existence is the creation of God. And he starts with creating heaven and earth. And you see there in the verse it says heaven first, Earth, second, in the sentence. And, you know, and the earth was without form, which means it was, you know, but, well, no, I, you know, this is why I don't like really to talk about the Bible because I am I'm short of, uh, in English, I mean, I'm short of words. So, like, the word without form, uh, it says, and void. Like, you know, if you have... Uh, uh, Let's say you have a bulldozer, you have those big machines, and they go in your yard. And when they go in your yard, they miss up your yard. It's not level no more. It is up and down. There is, you know, I mean, especially if they are going in the mud, you can imagine what this machine will do. It will destroy, really, the shape of your yard. So the earth was not really, it's like, it just let's say it's a ball. It's just like a, a football. Uh, it is plain, it is empty, it is nothing but a rock or solid rock, solid body, covered by water. And then the verse says, and the earth without form, and the darkness was upon the, uh, the face of the deep. So, you know, because there's no light, light does not exist yet. So for sure, everything is covered by darkness. And then the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And here you notice how we can always prove that the Muslims are following the false god because from the beginning, before any creation, any creature, God and his spirit. God 
and the Spirit of God. You see? So we have God, and we have the Spirit of God. Muslims, they don't have. Their God does not have a spirit. So when somebody says that the Christians is the one who came with the, with the Trinity, they created the Trinity, this is absolutely false, because we have tons of verses in the Old Testament speaking about the Trinity. Uh, so I advise you, when you look at the book of Genesis, don't look at it as a book of science, because it's not. It's, not. it's just a simple way to explain where we are coming from and where we are going. As simple as that. You know, like, uh, when we started our uh, program today, uh, somebody asked, do, do the Bible say the sunset? Not only the Bible, we say that too today. The sunset. You go to the water. You search, you search in Google. When the sun rises, when the sun set. If you say something else, Google won't understand. So, speaking of the sunset doesn't mean the sun setting. But we know what we mean. Right? If I say tomorrow I'm going to fly, you know what I mean. Obviously, I don't have wings. But now it's accepted to say, I'm going to fly. Why? Because we have airplanes. And when uh, when the book of Genesis you know, written, it, it's given a message for people who lived thousands of years ago in a very simple way. Yet it is really uh, kind of... Uh, uh, I, I find it a kind of... Uh, inspiring to think about the world because when you, you know, when you look at somebody like if you go in the book of job you know you go in the book of in the old testament you find that it says that the earth is hanged on nothing that is a really inspiring this is science but it's not because the, the bible is not a book of science but scientifically this is true the earth is hanged on nothing or the globe of the earth the globe of the earth hanged on nothing it took the a scientist thousands of years to figure out that the earth is hanged on the space on nothing and it's like a globe but when the author the writer who was inspired by God he did not write a book of science and this is not his intention this is a book of belief and faith it's about God and all what the book is saying, everything you have belong to him. As simple as that. Muslims think that we worship the same God. They claim they worship. They don't think. They claim. Because they knew we don't. If we worship the same God, then they should worship Jesus. Do their God have a son? No. So how do they have the same God? Okay, we have Dan again. Let us see what Dan want to say. You can hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. So who exactly wrote the Torah? Was it Moses or so someone else? The second you, talk, you speak about the Torah, we are talking about Moses. Okay. Yeah. How did Moses write the Torah when it includes what happened after he died? That's what I don't understand. Well, you know, the, uh, Jesus, he was crucified 2,000 years ago, correct? Yeah. Okay. And there is things happen after he died, correct? Of course. Okay. And those things is written in the, in the gospel yet before those things happen. So? So you're saying that Moses just wrote about what would happen after he died? There is, there is, you know, Moses is a prophet, right? Yeah, he is a prophet. Okay, so there is, there is a, there is a prophecy, and there is things happen in his time. So if it's prophecy, it's a prophecy. Prophecy is supposed to happen later. If it's not, then it's happen in his time. So Moses wrote about how he would die. I don't know what you are, if you can tell me about the verses you are talking about so we understand. All right. I'll try to find it real quick. Might, might not be able to. All right. 
Well, then, you know, get get your question later, and maybe later you can okay. uh, call me and ask me, all right? Okay, thank you. Right. Take care. You know, I mean, uh, uh, Jesus, he spoke about how he died, before he died, right? Moses, uh, he spoke about uh, his death. Uh, sorry, Jesus spoke about his death. And uh, he was alive. He said, who is going to betray him? He was alive. He said, who is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, but you know what people think is that Moses he wrote a book. We speak about what Moses. You see, when Jesus he, uh, when we say the gospel, is Jesus is the one who wrote the gospel. So the gospel is a book speaking about Jesus, and about what Jesus said. Doesn't mean that Jesus is the one who wrote it. So when we speak about the book. This book is coming from Moses and what Moses happened with him and what Moses expired doesn't mean that Moses is the one who wrote the book by his hand. Uh, there is there's a written about Moses. There's a written about, as an example, Solomon, but Solomon did not write the book. Uh, there's a, there's a, you know, David, but David, he is not a writer and he is not writing books. Uh, I mean, there's tons and those and those names they did not write but there's written about what happened to them so people they are confused maybe about how things is written and who wrote it the bible is the book of books not a book and each book is telling a story or let's say there's an there's an, a source of it Um, you know, when the Muslim they say that the gospel was given to Isa, but this is false because there is nothing given to Isa as gospel. The gospel is the word of Christ. And what the disciple, the witness, with the Christ, and what they heard from Christ, and what they said to Christ, and what Christ said to them, and what other people said to them. <clears throat> Anything else? And if, you know, if, if the book, uh, you know, describes something uh, happened to somebody after his death, obviously, either it is a, a prophecy about what will happen to him, if he is the one who said that, or there is a writer, he wrote what happened to Moses, and this has became part of his book, because it is belong to Moses. Let us say, I wrote my book, Deception of Allah, and then, for sure, I wrote it while I'm alive, you know. And then a friend of mine, his name is uh, Joseph, Joshua, whatever, uh, he printed my book after my death. He wrote that this person, Christian Prince, he died in the age of etc., in the year of etc., and he died because of this or that. Um, Muhammad, false prophet. We will not need, uh, so, you know, guys, don't send me private messages. I will block you. 
There's no need. You know, if you want to say something, you say it in the chat. Yeah, but even, I mean, I don't know what he was speaking of when he asked the question, but that won't change anything because uh, in the Bible, there's a prophecy. I can prophesy about my death if I'm a prophet or somebody after me, he wrote about my death, uh, you know, uh, after me. <clears throat> here I mean there is there is here a, like an option you can send the private chat uh, and I don't know why people they don't send the questions or they send the text in the in the in the let everybody read it. I mean, if you have a question, uh, put it in the chat because now I'm look here or look there. All right. Yeah. Let us go and see. Maybe uh, Daniel is back. Yes, Daniel, are you there? Are you uh, speaking to me? Or oh, Dan, sorry, Dan. Yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry, man. I was just, uh, I wasn't, I thought I had to wait. Oh, until sorry, I... this is not Dan. Sorry, I, okay, I, I'm mistaken. Okay, good. Uh, Muhammad Fas Prophet. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, man. Uh, I wasn't trying to send you a message. I wanted to, I just wanted to put it in the chat. But, anyways, it's, it's okay. No worries. Uh, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to talk about the difficulty of Islam. Like nobody, nobody talks about this 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 side of things. Like what I don't like is when I go on YouTube and I look at you know that ketchup boy. <laughs> it's a funny you called him that. You know Uthman ibn Farouk, right? He'll mm -hmm. he'll have a stand, and then he has a Bible, and it's so easy for him to flip through through you know the Holy Bible and point here, point there, point there. He has the entire he has all of Christianity in his hand, but then. When, when people are walking by and forth, we don't have anything. We don't have the tafsir. We don't have the hadith. If we have the Quran, it doesn't make sense. Like this religion is not fair. Like it's it's very, very hard to um, to, to refute. Like you, you can't hold the books of Islam in your hand. But this guy, he, he, has a, he, he has all of Christianity in his hand. And he lies about this book, that book, this verse, this verse. Like it's not a fair fight. You know what I mean? No, actually, I don't agree with you, because you see, today we are living in the time of the internet, and in your phone you have all the library of the Muhammadan. So when you want to get this Abdul busted, if you are walking by, open Tafsir in your phone and get him busted. Okay, you know, it's very easy. Islam is the easiest cult ever to defeat. So and when he lie about the Bible, get him busted too. You know, we have interpretation yeah. for the verses. And get him busted. So they are liars. It's easy to defeat them. And I don't have any excuse. I do not need to carry. Right now, I'm sitting here with you. I don't have a single book around me. Okay. Not a single book. But I have the internet. That is that is the bigger library ever. Correct? Uh, yeah, 100%. I agree. Yeah. So if T you go, just have internet in your phone. And yeah. that's it. You get him busted. If he's saying... Like you know, like in the other day when somebody he said uh, that the Messiah, there's many Messiah, correct? Yeah, he, he did. Okay, <laughs> got him busted. The same as the other guy did. I got him. But show me. You know, he went and he uh, he 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 quoted a note as if it's a hadith. Stupid. And you don't know. He don't know even Arabic. Arabic, obviously. So uh, uh, it's not really unfair. But let me tell you what what uh, what people do. Muslim, they support Muslims a oh, lot. Yeah. Christian, they don't care. Like, Even look, Jordan Peterson, he how many, started. How many, how many people here, you know, watching my chat? 397, right? 
if I make a video and Uthman, he make a video, how many of you will, will have? You know that the front, right? Even though he's oh, stupid, yeah. even the Muslim are making fun of him that he claimed to be Sheikh, yet he do not know Arabic, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the Muslim, they support each other and we are laughing at him, but yeah. they support him because they have hope that this guy, he can make a difference. Look, he is fighting for Allah. Look, he is standing in the street. Look, he is trying to know he is doing his best. So the Muslim, they would appreciate such a fool. But we Christians should appreciate such a fool too. And where he said, Muhammad was not Abrahamic. Correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that, that one. That is a priceless. Muhammad was not Abrahamic. So they might think that he is you know, useful, but in fact, he is useful for us. And from your side, you should not complain because it's not only fair, it's all, everything is for your benefit. You have all their books and their books is full of garbage. We have one book, they cannot make fun of it. But they will say, yeah. what they will say, like what is, show me where Jesus, he said something is an embarrassment. You know, what the Muslim they will do, what the Muslim they will do, they will say, okay, do you see the, the loot, his daughters, they have sex with him, so? And? Yeah, they always say that, yeah. According Even, to the Quran, uh, according to the Quran, the, the wife of Lot, she was a whore. Oh, what, I didn't what know that. Is going to be, what difference is going to be to make? And that maybe make uh, a lot, uh, his daughter is not his daughter then. Uh, so the Muslims, and you know, when the Bible speak about the story, the Bible is not approving the story. The Bible is a book reporting what people did. Yes. Yeah. To themselves, to others, and with God. And what God did to them. So mm -hmm. if I now go and have sex with a child like Muhammad, what does this have to do with God? Is that God? If God taught me to do that, then that is an issue. But if I am the one who is doing that, what does this have to do with how that can condemn Christianity? So exactly. they are selling, they are stupid. We have a prophet who is a child molester. He had sex with his own daughter-in-law. What difference is going to be making if it's my daughter mm -hmm. from phys physically or my daughter from marriage to my son? Mm -hmm. And not only that, if we go in the Quran, and this is what you need to do. Like when you, when it's, if he come to you with a topic like this, right yeah. away you say, you say to him, "Well, isn't it in Islam is allowed for a Muslim to have sex with his own daughter from his blood?" He will say to you, "No," and he will <laughs> open the Quran. He will open the Quran, saying, yeah. "No, it's it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughters." But the Quran says, "وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَصَبًا وَصِيرًا." I'm probably in English. Uh, Sorry, if I can just ask something, it's it's related to the to what you're gonna do when well, you read it. Finish, finish okay. this. Yeah. So the Quran, the Quran speak of that you can have sex with your daughter, but ado adopted daughter or or no what? no your daughter your daughter if she is not a daughter from marriage. Adopted, right? Or sorry, what is no, it called? No, no, um, not adopted. No, no, no. Step step stepdaughter. We call them. No, no, no. Your daughter. Your daughter. I just said she is not from marriage. She is not from marriage, which means she is your daughter from adultery. Okay. All right. So when the Muslim they speak about the daughters of Lot, this is not God permission. This is not God told them go and have sex with your father. This is what they did, and what they did because they fear that they will not have uh, a man, and they they are the last people. There is nobody around. So they wanted to have a children so they can survive. Not because they are filthy. Mm -hmm. However, what they did is filthy. But this is what they did. And this is what they thought is the right thing to do. Yeah. But if we go in the Quran, we will find a clear verse speaking about, if you go to Al-Qurtubi, you will see that there is no problem for a Muslim, a Muslim man, to have sex with his daughter as long as she is his daughter from adultery. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is his daughter, not a stepdaughter. Not stepdaughter. Let me open the, the tafsir for you. Sure. And we can use Google. You can use Google translation from your side. You know, you can just, uh, uh, you know, open it in your browser and click at Google and you will see what I'm talking about. Let us go there. Here we go.
This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It says here, اختلف الفقهاء في نكاح الرجل ابنته من زنا that the scholars uh, disagree about having sex with your daughter from adultery or his sister or uh, uh, the daughter of his daughter uh, the, the daughter of his uh, son from adultery imagine so which, they say uh, which some of them they say it's forbidden like uh, 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 Ibn al-Qasim and Abi Hunayfa and then and, uh, and the rest all the rest of the Muslims they agree you can have sex with them like Abdul Malik, Abdul Malik, uh, uh, Al Shafi'i, and the rest, they agree that a man he can have sex with his daughter from adultery, or his sister from adultery, or the daughter of his son from adultery. And this is Al Qurtubi. Uh, Let me post the link in the front of everybody. And everybody, I encourage you to go to Google Translation, open open the open the page. And you know, click at the, and the empty space in the page, and choose Google Translation. The browser I'm using is not Google, so uh, Google Translation will not work. So yeah, do that I, I started to save your links now because of uh, how everything's all over the place with Islam. So I'm like, you know yeah. what? I have to do something. So I started to save, save, save everything. Yeah, you see here it says number two, number two, from number two, you know, it says Athani, yeah? section number two, and then it says. Uh, that the Allah he said that marriage is made by uh, like uh, uh, law by marriage by like you know Sharia uh, and it have two meaning it is uh, between two human Ibn al Arabi he said that nasab which means relation is uh, uh, by mixing the ma the water of the women the water of the man with the water of the women. According to the Sharia, and this is what the Muslims are talking about, if you are not having a wife and you slept with the women, she is not your wife, then she is not, she, the children will not have a nasab. Nasab means they don't belong to their father. They don't. So they are not considered as a children of their father. And this is why here it says, and because it's not a guaranteed relation, it's from, you know, uh, not from marriage. So it's not considered as when Allah, he says, it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughter because she is a daughter for him from adultery and because she is not his daughter according to the most accurate opinion to our scholars and the most accurate <sighs> opinion of the religion. See, it's right in front of us. Anyone who speaks oh, Arabic, man. you can use Google Translation right now. And then he says, and because of that, because there is no nasab, there is no legal marriage, there is no legal relationship, so yeah. it is not considered. There is no. That's not forbidden to have a fornication with the daughter and the mother of your daughter. And then here it says, just to, to make it even more clear, oh, and, man, that, and, the, and the scholars, the scholars, they disagree about having sex to do ifin to the man to his daughter from adultery or to his sister. Or to the daughter of his own son from a daughter. What? This is the first time I'm hearing yeah. this. That's... When you say, my friend, when you say this, it's not fair. No, you have all the tools. You can destroy this guy easy in two seconds. But what happened if you do not know? You do not know. Anyone can. Anyone can make you feel in this ability. That's crazy. Uh, I was watching that that idiot's videos on YouTube. He had a live stream and. It's recorded. I, I wish I saved it. Uh, he was getting a bunch of backlash. Like they were, all the Muslims were hating on Uthman because he was, they were saying, you don't, you don't accept Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir. And then he said on camera, he's like, no, this is only for the Kufar. You know, when they try to disrespect Islam. So he's, he's exposing himself on camera while it's being recorded. He's admitting he's lying. We, uh, send, send, send me a link so we can, so, so we can make it if this is what he said. Oh, uh, I see. That's, that's what he said. He, because it was you, about if, the age of Aisha. If you, can cut, if you can cut that part and make it a short video and send it to me, and I, I will be happy to have it. So we can play oh, all of it. I'll try. I'll, it was, yeah, it was a couple of months ago, but it was it was gold. I'm so stupid. He, he admitted on camera he lies to people. Yeah, but you see, uh, yeah. next time when, you, when the gold happened, pick up the gold. You're right, yeah.
hundred percent. This guy, right. like I, like I'd never seen such a liar like Uthman, man. Like way too much. Oh man. Yeah, but those people, my friend, they are they help us. Uh, we can use them, as you see, because their lies. When you know, you see, you can lie as much as you want, but when people they discover that you are a liar, you will lose respect from everybody. Uh huh. So you might be successful in the beginning. But then people sooner or later they will they will laugh at you. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Can I yeah. uh, there, can I just ask one more and then I'll let, just one more thing. You, okay, go ahead. You uh, you you brought up a story that a long time ago where where uh, they they thought Muhammad was going to come back from the grave uh, like Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I one thing I was confused about is in Islam they don't believe in the resurrection. So my question is, why would they copy a fake story? It's no, a, they, it's believe, a fake... they believe in they believe in resurrection. What do you mean? No, it's, no, sorry. So they, they the, the Christian story is Jesus died for three days, he came back from the grave, but but Islam oh, okay. rejects this. Okay, I see. All right. So why why are they copying a fake Christian story? It doesn't make sense. They they're saying it's a fake story, but now they're trying to they're trying to take a fake story and make it Muslim. Oh, no, you see, the Muslims they don't say they were waiting for Muhammad for resurrection. No, they, no, but nobody says that. This is this is what we say. Because why did they not bury him? But then, if you go to the hadith, you will see that Muhammad, because he said to them, invoke prayer on me. Okay? And he said, and, the, and then they said to him, uh, 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 he said, and your prayer will be submitted to me. And he's talking about his death, about after his death. So they said to him, how we are going, how our prayer will be submitted to you, and then you will be dead and your body will be decayed. Yeah. He said, Allah forbid it, the earth from consuming the bodies of the prophet. Do you see the hadith? Uh, yeah, 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 I okay. see it. Yeah, uh, so okay. because of that, now the Muslim, they said, okay, if the earth, if nobody, if nothing can consume, consume the body of the prophet, then why we should bury him? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did not bury him in the first day. They did not bury him in the second day. Uh, but then in the third day, the guy, <laughs> he stink, you know? So so Ibn Abbas, he came and he said, <laughs> Bury your friend, which means Muhammad. Yeah. He stink like all a human, they stink. Which means they discover right away that Muhammad is a fraud. And this is why you see people buy thousands they left Islam after that. You know, oh, man. that's why we have the war of apostate. And remember, at that time, thousand is a lot. You know, we are not talking about thousand now. We are talking about thousand in the beginning of Islam. This is a lot. So, right away, they notice that he's a liar. He just said before he died, yeah, that his body will not decay, and then his body did not even survive a second day. He start his body. There's a different hadith that says uh, 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 that his belly became like a balloon. And yeah. his his fingers they became green and they shrink, and this is something happen that normally ha you know happen to somebody his body is decaying, so the color, his, the color of his nails change, his 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 uh, his fingers they shrunk, yeah. uh, his belly became full of gas because now the food you ate before you die is going the bacteria is going to digest it you know the digestion is still working. Yeah, and then the gas will be filling his belly. And actually, if you leave a dead person for like a week, you know, yeah, his, I, 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 I'm not sure like how long, maybe less. You can ask a doctor about that. But because now his body is full of food or whatever he have inside him, the gas, he cannot fart. You know, now we've, when you are alive, mm -hmm. when you have a gas, you get rid of it, right? But now yeah. your body don't have the mechanism or anymore to get rid of it. So it's going to be staying where? In your stomach. So uh, the guys keep staying there, keep staying there, keep staying there until the body cannot have more. And then the gas will start coming out as a fart, but from the dead body. Too much pressure, yeah. Too much, Too much pressure, yeah. And this <laughs> what happened with Muhammad. He was farting in his death. And this is uh, this is additional proof that he's a liar. And you know, oh, the Muslims can now open the grave of Muhammad. Why you don't do that? You know, why the Muslims don't do that? Tell them 
go up in the grave. Let us see yeah. if Muhammad really is true prophet. We will find his body as it is buried 1400 years ago. Correct? They have his grave. Why do they say he went to heaven like Jesus? You ever heard that that garbage? He, he well, I mean, this is a, you know, I mean, uh, this guy is uh, trying to be something. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to be something. And actually, when he said that, people started to be Islam too. Oh, really? He could, not, he could not describe. They asked him about Jerusalem. He could not describe anything. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. People, they started laughing at him. Oh, man. Well, All right, my friend. Anything no else? No worries, man. I don't want to. I don't want to take too, too much of your time. You you posted the Arabic one. I want. I want to save that one. The the Which, uh, the yeah. I I, 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 yeah, I posted already. You can uh, let no me worries. post it again. No worries, man. Thank you. Anyways, right. awesome. And this is and remember, this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. This is not private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is government. You know, official. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank cool, you. Man. Take care. All right. Just kick me out of this uh, chat, and we're good. Right. No good us. Take care. I mean, look at this religion. This is a religion. You can have sex with your daughter. So they go and they, they you know, they get silly. Uh, like the dad, he says, well, like they have sex with their father. What kind of a book? This is your book. This is your book. They have sex with their father. Well, yeah, they have sex with their father. There's people today. They do commit sin and they do ugly stuff. And your prophet is the first one. He have sex with his daughter. He have sex with a child. And not only that, he told the Muslim you can have sex with any daughter as long as she is not a daughter of her marriage. And they're proven in front of you. So guys, what do you think? Is the, uh, is the quality of this program good? Anyone notice a difference between the previous program and this one? Because now this is a different one. This is a stream yard. The other one was uh, uh, sorry, this one is Restream. The other one was uh, StreamYard. Do you prefer anyone from any other one? Are they both good? Are there is something better? Because I'm going to purchase one. I'm not sure yet which one. How about the quality? Of the images, the video, in the previous program, uh, StreamYard people they complain that it's not clear. Let me see in my phone if the streaming is clear. That one was seven, seven, seven twenty. Actually, after the broadcast, I look, and during the broadcast, I look, it was fine. But let us see. Just open it. And see how good it is. Yeah, it's fine. No problem with it. Yeah, it's clear actually. You can read the words very clear. Yeah. Well, maybe we will purchase this one now. Maybe we'll see. And you see, I'm liking those programs because it's easier for people to join. Like Skype is like downloading and uh, making an account and, and maybe people to share it for private, uh, you know. This one is just a link. Post it in the chat. People, they can join easier. Okay, well, I'm just trying here and there, and we will see. And you know, they, all of them, they are increasing their prices, I think, because they become more popular. The more, they, the more popular they are, the more the price will go up. Uh, last JD, there's no need for such a comment, my friend. This is not how we debate Muslims, not by pissing. Don't act like Muslims. Otherwise, we have, you know, we had to remove your comment. 
Let us be smart when we make a comment. Okay, what does weak hadith mean? Weak hadith mean weak Muslims, weak Islam. <laughs> That's mean Islam is messed up. That's what they mean. Imagine I say to you that this is a weak hadith from Jesus. Weak mean uh, weak, you know, weak. It's mean there is no uh, like 100% evidence that it is true. It is maybe 55, you know, maybe 60. Yeah. So, and for sure, they can even say maybe 30%. But this is additional proof that Islam is a joke. Because if Islam based on the Hadith and the Quran, and the Hadith is not preserved and mixed with tons of garbage, and it's up to this and that to say this is accepted and that is not accepted, so how we can follow this religion? <laughs>